guys, so welcome to another video. I've been planning on making some type of video like this for um, a few months just because it's something that I wanted an opportunity to talk about and share my experience um, with you guys. So, as some of you know, I'm in the process of just about beginning this book that I'm planning on writing about my four-year experience of not going to college, um, discovering who I am, not what I want to be. That's kind of um, the intention, and I'm hoping to get it published through an actual publisher, unlike the two ebooks I've written. And, yeah, I just think there's been experiences that I've had that are very unusual for someone who is choosing not to go to college as well as just um, getting another story out there. Obviously it's my story but in general it's really important to highlight I guess that you know it is a privilege for me to choose not to go to college and there may be some more of you out there who have that opportunity and would benefit from choosing not to go to college. And so I guess I wanna wanna share my story and yeah, more personally than I can through here, I feel like I can communicate what I'm going through with written word better and more effectively than talking to a camera and there's also things that I would rather not actually say with a camera to my face that would be better just to write in a book. So that's the, I guess, intention. I have two more years before my four years of what would have been college will be up, but I'm starting it now while I'm still in it so that hopefully it'll be done in the, in the two year time frame. I have a start date of actually writing stuff for the book on September 9th and so I've created an outline of just kind of things that I've um, done over the past two years. And so I've, this is by no means am I trying to brag. I'm just, just trying to highlight some things so that I can look back at, at them for my own growth. But also, I guess I feel like there's a part of me that, that really wants to help others get motivated and, you know, go out and really live their their lives because I've just been in a really amazing situation and I have a lot of self-discipline and I'm pretty passionate about various things and I just kind of do stuff. And I'm not really sure that a lot of people are like that or like me. And so um, I'm just going to read off what I've done and um, talk about it after, I think. Alright, so after I graduated, I moved into my tiny house, slash finished it. I then went to India and did some volunteering and traveling. In Towards the end of 2016, I released this apparel that I created, and obviously I was still making YouTube videos at the time. And then 2017, um, I started taking care of my grandfather. I went to Haiti, Madagascar, Puerto Rico. I did the forest therapy training. I started soul level astrology. I officially got certified for my soul level astrology just before 2018. I officially got certified for my forest therapy just before 2018. My soul level astrology is still currently going on. I went to California just before 2018. And then at the start of 2018, I went to Chicago, Mexico, Switzerland, Greece. My home time, I was still um, taking care of my grandfather at his house, but then um, in February, he moved into my parents' house, and so that's where I am um, still taking care of him, but also, obviously, my parents help out, and some of my siblings help out sometimes, too. Um, I then went to Japan, and then I got into this funk of, like, health, and I talked about this maybe two videos ago or so, I think. And yeah, just kind of experimenting with intermittent fasting and um, just really trying to spend time um, focusing on my health because I 
the last you know year and a half when you're taking care of some someone your priorities really aren't first and so while you know people around me were trying to help me realize that I really needed um, time and space and just energy put towards my own health I didn't really do that for a year and several months um, but a few months ago I kind of really started putting a lot of effort into what I was eating and how I was eating, when I was eating, why I was eating. And so that can be a topic for another time, but that was kind of more recently. <clears throat> and then my forest therapy mentors family came. There was an astrology in-person gathering. I went to a family reunion. I created these forest bathing cards, which you guys have seen. And then went to Iceland. Um, I went to my fourth Woodstock Fruit Festival, which um, was super awesome. It's where I was first introduced to forest therapy, which is a whole story. That is all I have done. You know, amongst all that, I created the website. I've been writing, I've been editing, making videos. Um, I've created more apparel since that initial re release. I've created a patch, a bumper sticker, um, I've been building things, I've been doing some side carpentry projects, I was working at a gift shop, I've been doing some um, Photoshop for other people, and so, yeah, there's just been a lot over the past two years, and when I was finished writing that whole list, I was just kind of amazed by all the places I traveled to, um, all the volunteering I've done, as well as, you know, when I when I made that list, it, it also triggered a whole bunch of projects and ideas that I had when I was there. And so it's like, oh my gosh, there are so many unfinished projects and ideas that I haven't explored yet related to all this travel. And I think that's part of why I want to write this book, too, is, is that I want to really come to some type of a conclusion as to what I've experienced over the last two years. You know, I've, I've traveled so much, and I've done a pretty good job of documenting my experiences there, but I haven't really had a lot of time to just sit with... Um, the different places I go because I travel so much. And so I'm just looking forward to really putting the intention out there to be more in one space as well as just, you know, having writing as a form of um, reflection, which I've always had through journaling, but really putting it in a form that could not only share my experience, but also benefit other people. The last thing I want to say is just that when you put the intention out there, the opportunities come. And so um, whether you want to go to college or not, or even if you have the option to not go to college or to go to college, you know, there's, there's a lot of other ways in which you can succeed in life, that you can live a happy, healthy um, existence and travel places and do what you want to do. And I think it's important that we remind ourselves often that we live in such an abundant world even though society and news and other media outlets might be telling us that you know there's so much scarcity in the world and there's not enough food and water for us. Just try to um, hold the intention, hold the belief that, you know, there's an abundance of resources out there and you can have whatever it is that, that you want. If I can be of any, any help or assistance, you can email me below and you can also check out my other videos and my Instagram and all my stuff will be down there, my website as well. I've been through this process and so there's a lot of things that you learn by by actually going through it, you know. I think it's hard because not many people are choosing not to go to college and those who are 
choosing not to go to college often don't talk about it enough, I don't think. So that's what I'm trying to do. I haven't shared very much with you, so I haven't done a very good job thus far, but my intention is to share with you more information about how I did what I've done. And so that's not what this video is about so much. It's more just sharing um, what I've done, which is not as helpful, but I feel like I need to create this video in order to then create how I did it in the future. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you